Hello everyone! Today in Math and Logic we're recognizing, drawing and creating shapes that can be drawn without lifting your hand. Let's start with a classic. How can you draw an open envelope without lifting your drawing tool? No tricks here, so just to be clear. You must do it without lifting the tool from the drawing surface and without tracing the same line multiple times. Tricks like this one are off the table. How to do it? You might succeed on your first try, but the envelope might be rotated. What about the closed envelope? You've probably realized that it's impossible to draw it this way, but the more complex the shape, the harder it is to figure out if it's possible. Next, we'll explain how to quickly determine whether any shape can be drawn this way, and if so, where to start and how to do it. There are three types of shapes in this task. Shapes that cannot be drawn this way, shapes that can be drawn starting from any node or any point of the shape, and shapes that can be drawn but require starting and ending in a specific node. The last category is the most interesting, but all shapes that can be drawn this way are called unicursal shapes. Let's dive in. When we talk about nodes, we mean points where at least two lines meet or where a single line ends. Analyzing these points lets us quickly determine whether a shape can be drawn without lifting the hand. But let's immediately look at those places. Those nodes can be ignored because they're essentially just breaks in a single line, not intersections of multiple lines. From a drawing perspective, these points are no different from a spot here on a curve where there's no node, so we don't worry about them at all. We're only interested in nodes where an odd number of lines meet, for example, three, five, or seven lines, but also where a single line ends. We'll get back to that in a minute. Let's count the odd nodes here. It turns out that we have two such odd nodes where three lines meet, here and here. The remaining nodes are even. If there are two odd nodes, it means the shape can be drawn without lifting your hand. However, you must start at one odd node and end at the other. If the shape has no odd nodes, it can be started from any point and is also a unicursal shape. But if it has four or more of those odd nodes, it's impossible to draw the shape this way. And why does it work this way? Let's examine a few nodes. A node with three lines, regardless of the whole shape, forces you to either start at that node, then you can draw all of its lines and then proceed with the rest of the shape. Or you must end in that node and we cannot continue with drawing. The same goes for nodes with five or seven lines. But if a node has an even number of lines, you can enter it at any time, draw all its lines, and leave without affecting the overall possibility of drawing the shape. So if odd nodes require us to start or end there, we can only manage two, one to start and the other to finish. A third or fourth node would leave no room to draw the whole shape. Here's another example. A node with a single line also counts as an odd node. You must start or end at this point. Knowing this rule makes drawing such shapes easy and you have to try really hard to get stuck. Take the example of an open envelope. It can be drawn in many ways and it's hard to mess up. However, one tip. If a part of the shape is connected to the rest by a single line, you must draw all the lines on one side before crossing that bridge to the other side. Otherwise, a wrong first move could ruin the drawing. Do you want to create your own unicursal shapes to entertain your friends? If so, draw any shape you like and count the odd nodes. If there are none, the shape is too simple. So connect any two nodes with a line, following your aesthetic sense, and you're done. You can safely ignore any intersections created along the way. And what if there are too many odd nodes, say six? Connect two of them with a line to turn them into even nodes. Now there are only four odd nodes left, so repeat this procedure, leaving only two odd nodes, and you'll have a nice shape ready to be drawn. Finally, here's an exercise. Try drawing these shapes without lifting your hand, if it's possible. Check out my channel for more logic and math puzzles, as well as quick calculation methods. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.